In the last lecture, we started looking at voltage amplifiers and ultimately looked at an operational amplifier and noted that the input was differential and that the reason we do that is to cancel common mode signals such as noise. Today we're going to start looking at how we actually produce these amplifiers and we're going to start with the source coupled pair. All right, so for a resistive loaded source coupled pair, we take two common emitter amplifiers, I'm sorry, common source amplifiers. We tie their sources together and we put in two input signals, one VI1 and one VI2. Now we couple these amplifiers with a current source in their source, or that feeds into the source of the source coupled pair. And our current source might not be ideal, so I'll draw a non-ideal current source which has an output resistance associated with it. Now we'd like for this amplifier to be symmetric, which means that transistor M1 and M2 are equal and, and resistors RD1 and RD2 are equal to one another. And we would take an output voltage VO1 and an output voltage VO2. All right, so we define our input as input differential VID is equal to VI2 minus VI1. And this is our differential input. We can also define what we call a common mode input, VCM, which is equal to the average of the two voltages at the input, VI2 plus VI1 divided by 2. Now, solving for these two in terms of one another, we can say that VI2 is equal to V common mode plus VID divided by 2. We can say that VI1 is equal to V common mode minus VID over 2. We'll define two voltage gains for this type of amplifier. One, our differential gain. We'll call ADM, which is equal to VO2 minus VO1 divided by VI differential, V input differential, or VOD, V output differential, divided by VID, V input differential. And of course, we want this to be large. We'd like a lot of differential gain. Now, our common mode gain. is equal to ACM, which we say is equal to either VO1 divided by VCM or VO2 divided by VCM. And of course, we want this to be small. In other words, we want this amplifier to amplify differential signals and reject single-ended uh, single -ended or common mode signals. We also can define what we call a common mode rejection ratio. And of course, this is equal to the differential gain divided by the common mode gain. And of course, we want this to be very large. So we will abbreviate common mode rejection ratio CMRR. All right, 
So the CMRR is basically how well does our amplifier amplify differential signals and reject common mode signals. We have one other parameter in a differential amplifier that we'll be interested in for the time being called common mode input range. And our common mode in input range is what is the valid range of input voltages that our amplifier works over. And of course, this is going to depend upon the type of transistor we use, and the basic uh, condition is that we have to keep the devices in the, in the saturation region. So in the next part of the lecture, we'll look at biasing and large signal performance for a source-coupled pair.